Oh, hi. My name is Ben Fox, and this is the uh, the Kugu Kurine, the Kangaroo Kingerin Kunda. Get on with it. No one cares. Anyway, it doesn't matter what it's called. It's a pretty good scooter. You should check it out. This is how you ride scooters nowadays, isn't it? Uh, uh, what an idiot. This is the Kagoo Kirin G3. At least I think that's what it's called. It boasts a touchscreen display, a top speed of over 27 miles per hour, a claimed range of 80 kilometers, but in the real world, expect more like 40. A powerful 1200 watt motor, a 52 volt 18.6 amp hour battery, big pneumatic tires, an all new TPU suspension system, two disc brakes, and it'll cost you just under a thousand dollars. Link to the scooter in the description below. Uh, okay, let's take a closer look at this Kaju Kirin G3 or whatever it's called because I think it's pretty special. Uh, yeah, from the top down you will see a super, super wide handlebar which is really great and this big old screen which, believe it or not, it is touch screen. Now, it's definitely not an iPhone. It's um, doesn't have that kind of sensitivity, so you've got to kind of really press things, but it, it works very well and it's and it's pretty bright. What? Yeah, apart from that, we've got two solid disc brakes front and back, which means very, very effective braking. Wow, good brakes. One, two. A nice integrated built-in bell, which sounds like this. Nice bell. A proper thumb throttle and a tastefully managed cable management system. Oh, and if you're wondering what this little tidbit is, this is my Tri-Bit Storm Box Micro, which is a handlebar speaker, which ironically doesn't fit on these handlebars, but fits on most bikes and scooters. And honestly, it's the most practical Bluetooth speaker that I've ever had. It really packs a punch. And you can attach it to pretty much anything. It's really good, and it means you can finally rock out while you scoot out. Product placement. Okay, back to the actual review. I really, really like the look of this scooter. I love the orange and black. I honestly think this is probably the sexiest, coolest looking electric scooter that I have reviewed. We've got off-road tires. Well, they're kind of like hybrid, really. They work amazingly off-road and amazingly on-road. Ten and a half inch pneumatic, so you might get a flat, just to be aware of. Now, when I first clapped eyes on this scooter, I thought it was one of those monster dual motor, big old heavy scooters. Well, guess what? It's not. It's only got one motor. Not there. It's there. No motor there. Motor there. 1200 watts of power. I wouldn't quite classify it as like a monster scooter like a Zero 10X or an 11X or an Apollo Phantom. It's actually got half the power of those scooters, 1200 watts. But like I say, it's more than enough. You're going 30 miles an hour and you don't have the size or the weight of those scooters, which is really cool. So it makes it kind of like its own thing, really. Okay, let me try and fold this sucker down for you. Um, bit of an old-fashioned folding mechanism. We kind of unscrew the reflector. It's got reflectors, all right. Then just give it a good stiff kick. Down it goes. And then, rather ingeniously or um, cheaply, whatever you want to call it, this simple strap goes around the, the kicker at the back. And then we are folded. And there you go, 25 kilograms Whoa. still not a light scooter but certainly a lot lighter than a, anything with dual motors apollo phantom zero 10x and stuff straining a hernia or whatever oh, that's enough oh kai minush is heavier than a sack of tatties so yeah but i still think you're getting most of the power and the thrill of a dual motor scooter but without the dual motor weight or price tag. Now, what have I done with that reflector thing? Oh, bloody hell. Where the hell is it? Don't lose that. Okay. We've got a pretty steep 
hill here. I anticipate no problems. Yeah, we're actually accelerating all the way to the top. Oh yeah, that was easy peasy. Yeah, barely worth doing a hill test to be honest. I should have known, 1200 watts. You're gonna have no problems on the hills, basically. Another unique thing it's got going for it is a uh, TPU suspension. It's got plastic suspension, which I've never really come across before. And th at first I thought, well, it's gonna be a bit crap, but it's not crap. You don't have any exposed coils for like rocks to kind of get stuck in or for them to rust. And, uh, and I've been using this off-road most of the time and it's handled it impeccably. So I'm actually a fan of this kind of new suspension. <laughs> Base plate wise, it is certainly wide enough to stand on in parallel if you're like me and stand in parallel. But if you've watched the sexy music video that they made for this for this scooter, it's all about the kick tail. We're glad that the international space station is up again. It's super big and it's super wide and it allows you to kick the scooter out and do wheelies and cool stuff like that. But because I'm a bit of a pussy, I won't be doing any of that. So build quality wise from a company that's kind of known for budget level scooters, there is nothing to complain about here. It is really solid from head to toe. I think the only thing I can possibly complain about, where is it, where is it, is that pesky little charging flap which will just flap around in the wind but they do that on every scooter so yeah overall very pleased with the build collie it feels very cool so yeah guys all in all i think this is a very relevant scooter a much needed scooter it, it fills a gap between the kind of the wild apollo phantoms the zero 10 x's big heavy scooters but this without the size the weight and the price tag still packs a hell of a lot of punch. It's a lot of fun into, into a rather cool, sexy looking scooter, if I may be so brash. Anyhow, it's available on Indiegogo now and on the Kuju website, if that is indeed its real name. So until next time, see you later. Whoa! I don't know. Oh. Now, now that, that is how you start a podcast ladies and gentlemen cowboys we're uh, internet cowboys <laughs> we're shooting from the hip <laughs> <laughs>